everyone welcome to the channel so in this video I'm gonna show you how to download a watershed basin for any study location using Google Earth Engine a step-by-step -step guide so let's get started now let me show you the data we're gonna use to uh, download our watershed basin so we're gonna use this particular data called Hydro Atlas Basin level 4 so there is a variety of data sets been available here so now let me click this uh, option called more so here we can able to observe there is a variety of different levels of hydro atlas basins available so in this video we're gonna use uh, a level 4 hydro atlas basin of level 4 and hydro atlas basin of level uh, 12 so we're gonna use this both the data first uh, let me uh, click this data hydro atlas basin level 12 now here a few description about this data that is our WWF Hydro Atlas Basin level 12. So here a few description about this uh, basin uh, Hydro Atlas Basin data. So Basin Atlas is a component of Hydro Atlas database which is a component of Hydro Sheds. So Basin Atlas provides a standardized uh, compendium of hydro environmental attributes information for all watersheds of world at high spatial resolution. And the watershed data ranges from level 1 from a course to a level 12 that is of a finer well detailed basins. So in level 12 you can able even you can able to observe a micro water uh, micro basins. So this hydro sheds are uh, data is generated using our NASA SRTM digital elevation uh, data. So now uh, let me copy this the collections. So double e dot collection WWF hydro atlas version 1 basin level 12 we are going to copy this and let me close this so now we can able to visualize here we are going to import our basin atlas data so first we are going to import our level 12 watershed data so this is our the code to import our level 12 watershed data from our hydro sheds so for that we defined a variable called watershed equals to double e dot feature collection wwf hydro atlas level 1 that is version 1 basin level 12 so we're going to filter with a specific study area so you can uh, use a variety of uh, any part of the world as your study region to generate those uh, only uh, basins so suppose we are using this uh, study region so you want to download only this part of the study region's basins for that we're going to use this uh, study area that is we have used uh, a polygon so now let me show you how to uh, place a create a study area so now you can able to visualize here there is an option called draw a rectangle so now let me cl uh, click this so now let me draw a rectangle over the study region called Chennai so now you can able to observe here there is a variable called a study area polygon with four vertices and the variable here represented a study area with a polygon so it is a polygon with a four vertices so there is a four vertices so now we're going to filter with the specific study region that is dot filter bound study area so study area refers to this particular study region so here the variable study area with four vertices polygon so next so next we're going to add our watershed boundary into our earth engine so for that we define map dot add layer watershed with this curly bracket refers to default visualization parameter and output the layer name as watershed and next to center our uh, layer we defined map dot center object that is representing a variable watershed with a specific zoom level of 9 then last to download this watershed boundary of this specific study region we are defined export dot table dot to dry watershed and description as a watershed boundary and the folder location we're gonna use GE downloads so now we're gonna run this uh, script go to the option called run script and click run so now we're going to visualize our watershed basin. So now we can able to visualize in the layer section we have a layer called watershed. So now let me uh, turn off the study area. So now we can able to visualize for this particular study region we have uh, extracted all the basins within this particular study region. So likewise you can extend the study area study boundary for, for any part of the world or you can download those particular watershed basins. So now uh, to download this, so go to the option called the task section. So in that there is a uh, task called unsubmitted task. So here there is represented as a watershed 
boundary like y is here so like uh, this one the water sheet boundary so now to download this you have to click this option called run so now a window popped up saying initiate table export so here the task is our watershed boundary we're gonna export to our dry so and we're gonna create a dry folder as ge downloads that is google earth engine downloads the file name will be watershed boundaries and the file format will be in kml we're gonna select as a kml so now click run to export or to download the watershed basin of your study region so now you can enable to visualize here that there is a submitted task so it is currently running so now we can able to visualize in a submitted task or the watershed boundary has been exported so now it is exported so now let me open in the drive let's click this option called open in drive now let's take the look of this uh, data so now you can able to uh, visualize here to the watershed boundary in KML file format so let us download this so click this option download now select your file location so I will select this download as my file location so the file name will be watershed boundary 1 so now let me save this so it is downloaded here now let us visualize our KML in our ArcGIS in ArcMap. So now we are in ArcMap software. There is a GIS software. Now let us visualize our KML, and we're gonna convert our KML, KML file to a, a layer. So now let us add our data. So uh, first we're gonna convert that. So go to the Arc Toolbox section. So that is available here, the Arc Toolbox. So now in that we're gonna select uh, conversion tools. In conversion from KML. We're gonna select KML to layer. So now we're gonna sa select this option called KML to layer. So now we're gonna input our KML file into this tool called KML to layer. Let me uh, navigate to my file location. So now I have navigated to my file location. I'm gonna select our watershed boundary one and click this option open. So now choose your output file location. Now I've selected my output file location and now click OK to run so conversion from KML to uh, yeah, there is, it has run so now we can able to visualize in the table of content section we have our layer called watershed boundary so now let me change the color it is in white color we are going to choose a color in uh, black now click OK so now we can able to visualize our our watershed boundary of our study region so now we can able to clearly visualize in arc map so this is our let me show you in earth engine so in earth engine you can able to visualize here let me turn off this particular uh, boundary so this is our shape file that is just the watershed boundary in our earth engine so now this is the watershed boundary in our arc map so in this way you can download uh, the watershed boundaries from Google Earth Engine, and you can able to clearly able to visualize the watershed boundary in a arc map. And now to export this particular uh, watershed boundary as a shape file, right click and choose the option called. Uh, we're gonna select this option. And we're going to choose this option called data and we're going to export data so now I have selected my output file location so click this save to export our watershed boundary as a shape file now click OK yes so now we can able to visualize our watershed boundary in shape file format so we can now clearly able to view that So now let me get back to our earth engine. So in this video I have shown you how to download a watershed boundary using our Google earth engine and we have visualized using our art map. So now you can able to view that. So we have converted our KML file to a, a shape file. So we can able to clearly view that. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.